Hey ladies, it's Ashley with Melanin Vite Boutique and it is Try It Out Tuesday. Today I am reviewing another all natural deodorant brand called Pipe Away. So if you're interested in seeing how this works for me, keep watching. <music> So I was able to try two different um, products um, with Pipe Away. So the first um, is the activated charcoal deodorant. Um, and it comes like um, in a stick. So um, when you open it, you have the deodorant at the top and the bottom kind of pushes up uh, the rest of the deodorant so that you can swipe it under your arm. So, the first one that I tried and I tried it for about three months and as you can see like it's mostly <laughs> gone like I even started like kind of digging out some kind of rubbing it under there um, but this was really really good um, the other one that I tried uh, was the it's still another um, act activated charcoal has some essential oils in it um, but this is more so like the paste so again, you kind of scoop out and dig, dig it, put it where you want to put it. So, so yeah, so, and as you can see, well, this one is an almost one. I still have a lot of this one left, um, but yeah. So um, for those of you who know, I've been trying out a lot of natural deodorants lately, just a few. I mean, I've already found one that I really, really, really like, like my, my all time favorite, like my go-to deodorant. Um, but honestly, Piper Way is like a close, like it's tied with my favorite natural deodorant um this is definitely tied with it so my favorite uh deodorant is called native i love the coconut vanilla but this gives that a run for its money um, one of the pros is that it's scentless so you know if you're somebody who's like allergic to perfumes or you know you prefer to have scentless deodorant this is going to fall right in line with what you want um so it means it's pretty much gender neutral um, doesn't really you know smell like anything um, so that's definitely a pro um, again it's all natural it's aluminum free paraben free vegan um, and for sensitive skin so um, that's obviously a plus um, if you have allergies if you're you know vegan uh, whatever the case may be um, so yeah I used this for about three months I would take it and I would like apply um, two, three swipes under my arms. I was a little nervous at first because sometimes when I've tried scentless deodorants, it didn't seem to work with my body chemistry. But girl, like this was like amazing. I was very pleasantly surprised. Um, so I would apply this um, when I was uh, when I was going to the gym because you know, I get hot and sweaty or whatever. Um, and so I would work out with it. Um, and surprisingly, like I wasn't like, funky afterwards um my underarms they stay dry like i'm sweating from like my neck and my arms are sweating face is sweating my pits were good um and that's really what you want i didn't like smell profusely of like funk or underarms you know that underarm smell that straight up you've been working in an onion field all day kind of stink you know what i mean i did not smell like that um, like it was very effective. I didn't smell like anything. Now, I was obviously sweaty from like, you know, sweating everywhere else, but my pits did not stink. So um, this was very effective um, post-workout. And I didn't even apply more after the workout because they do say that like after you work out or exercise to so apply more, but I didn't really need to do that. I worked out with it on, um, I would run errands um, and I wasn't funky. So, um, this was great for that. Um, another thing I liked about it was um, the texture because when it started to run out, <laughs> instead of getting more, like I would like kind of dig it up like that and then I would put it like where I wanted to put it. So like I would like rub it into my pits or whatever until it like disappeared or whatever. So when I did that, I absolutely love the texture of it because it feels like raw, like shea butter or cocoa butter. Um, is what it feels like. 
So um, right off the bat, I like that about it. Um, but yeah, so as you see, when you rub it in, it disappears, doesn't leave like a white residue, which is actually kind of surprising to me because the Nina deodorant that I love, when I sweat like profusely, it starts to, you know, get the little white line or white balls under your arm when I start to sweat with the native, but this did not do that. Um, it stayed on clear, there was no white residue, I didn't stink. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that, that definitely like got my attention with that, um, was the texture of this and how it glides on. So when you rub it in under your arms, it also looks like this as well if you were to just take it and go like this. So, so yeah, um, so it is very um, long lasting because there were a few days where I hit the gym, I ran errands and I was not able to take a shower like immediately afterwards. I didn't end up taking a shower until later in the evening. Um, and so my husband was like, oh, did you go work out today? You don't like you worked out. And I'm like, I worked out, <laughs> like, thank you. But yes, I worked out. Um, so it's very long lasting. Um, it's scent activated, which is great. Um, cause that means that, you know, when you do start to sweat, it activates and kind of absorbs that moisture so that, you know, you're not funky. So that is something that is very different from, um, the native deodorant that I'm highly used to. Um, and so, like I said, it is not scented. Um, and I really do appreciate that. Like I said, it unscented didn't really work with another brand that I tried, but with this, it's great. Because um, another deodorant I used to use was the Donna Karen's Cashmere, Cashmere Mist. Um, and that smells wonderful. I think they actually put a little bit of the perfume, the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist perfume in the deodorant. So it smells really good and it worked really well with my body. However, when I went into work one day, of course, I have a coworker who's like allergic to perfumes and different scents. So she's like, Ashley, you wear too much perfume, and, you, and I'm like, no, I don't. Like, I'm just wearing deodorant. Like, what are you talking about? So she sniffed me around. She's like, oh yeah, it's your deodorant. So like, she was legit like trying to say she was allergic to my deodorant because it was like, you know, scented and had perfume in it. Um, she was a hater. I'm sorry, but whatever. Um, but anyway, this is unscented. So for me, um, that was really good so that I can make sure that I'm not, you know, irritating anybody. But also if you are someone who likes to wear scents, like I do, so I know the scents that work well with my body chemistry, which is like coconut, vanilla, shea butter, um, those type of scents. So I would still apply this, but I can use like my lotion that Coco scented um, and my perfume is like Coco vanilla scented. So I still kind of got like that Coco vanilla like scent, but it wasn't necessarily coming from my deodorant. Deodorant so. because um, sometimes, you know, your deodorant like, I mean, I think that your deodorant should kind of match the scent that you're gonna wear. Uh, Cause there have been times where it's like, I'll use like a secret or a dove and it's like powder scent or it's like fresh scent deodorant. But then my perfume and oils and stuff is like cocoa vanilla scented. So sometimes it doesn't like quite mesh like the two scents together. But this you can be sure because it's unscented, you can add on whatever, you know, your, your typical perfume, your typical lotion or whatever. Um, and you know, they'll smell that instead of like it conflicting with your deodorant. I'm like totally like in love with this. Like, <laughs> um, I love it so much. Yeah. Um, so with the other one that I got, the, this one here, this to me, um, it says gender neutral, but to me, I don't know if it's my nose or whatever. Oh, it does say it has some essential oils in it as well. Maybe that's what I smell because it smells a little pepperminty to me. Yeah, pepperminty. Um, so this, I did try it under my arms, um, but it stung a little bit. It might have been because I had just shaved my underarms and I let it dry and then I put this under there and it kind of stung a little bit um, the first time that I did it. It was still effective. It still worked. Um, but it stung, um, and but after um, I kept using it, and it still was very effective. Um, but I preferred this um, better. I like the texture of this better than this. Um, this I also tried it on my feet. Yes, girl, my feet. Because like after I work out, I, I wear socks. I was I spray my shoes down. But girl, 
after I work out, my sneakers smell like someone like processed and made some corn chips inside my shoes. Like they, they reek so bad. So <laughs> what I would do is like, I would take this and I would um, put it, like rub it in my hands and then I will apply it on my feet. Um, and then I will put my socks on and my shoes. And it really helped my feet to stay like fresh. It did smell like a little pepperminty, but I didn't mind that. I would take peppermint over corn chips any day. So, um, so yeah, I was able to like, you know, keep my feet smelling uh, fresh like using this. And I'll take a little bit of it out so that like you can see what that looks like. This is a little bit harder though. Um, I'll put it right here. So it has like a pasty feel. It still feels like, you know, cocoa butter or shea butter to me, but like the raw unprocessed uh, cocoa or shea butter. Um, but yeah, that's how it kind of like rubs in. So I would like put this all over my feet and um, before I work out and then I would put my socks on and it will keep your feet smelling good if you got funky feet like I do after I work out your feet sweat um so yeah this is also really good I still use it um another place I tried this was I would take some and I would put it like on my inner thighs uh because girl you know the crotch sweat yeah I don't want to be smelling musty or whatever but I put it on my inner thighs and it just keeps it like fresh um I obviously still sweat there because I, I hate it like I have to wear like dark um workout clothing because like if I try to wear a gray or a white or be cute and wear like a pink or whatever like the crotch sweat it like be all wet I'm like oh I can't do that like I look like I peed my pants like I can't do that um so I wear like dark colors and I will put this in between my thighs and it keeps me fresh smelling like I don't smell musty um again when I need the gym so both of these girls like you gotta try it. It is so, so good. Like I said, it gives my favorite one, Native, a run for its money. Now, the only reason why I like Native is because like I said, Native is scented, it does last long. Um, and it works well with like the other things that I use or whatever. Um, so I still like Native. Um, but another thing that I like about Native that you don't necessarily get with this is that Native, like I can just go to my local Target, Walmart, pick it up at store. This, um, you have to order online. I would really hope that they can get in stores one day, or maybe I'm not near them. I live in, I'm in Pennsylvania. Um, but I don't necessarily see this in the store, but if I saw this in a store when it was right next to Native, I would probably get this um, instead of the Native because this can do a lot more than Native. Um, but, you know, they're not necessarily in store. So y'all gotta keep using it so that they can get popular and then maybe they can get some stores and we can you know have it available to you if you are um you know just shopping and you really need to pick up some deodorant um but yeah you can order this online um pick away um on their website um they are about the, the same cost of like natural deodorants you're going to pay anywhere between 12 to 15 dollars um i believe this is like this one's like 12.99 so, um, but they last very long. Like I said, I use the hell out of this. It lasts me like three, four months. Um, it's very effective. So you guys gotta go out and get you some, like no lie. Um, this was really, really good. Definitely, um, please, please, please go and get you some. Like try it for yourself. But this worked really, really well. Um, it really, I know sometimes natural deodorants get like a bad rap, but girl you will not be disappointed it is worth every every penny all right ladies so i hope that that helped you guys who are deciding on natural deodorants um i will see you guys next time for our next try it out tuesday uh stay safe stay fresh and um i'll see you lovely ladies next time bye